y'all. I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Showed in. Because we're about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. Hey, y'all. This is April. And this is Caroline. And it is Turn Up Tuesday. It's It's my turn. Oh, Turn Up Tuesday, Bloody Happy Hour. We're doing a quickie, which is, what are we talking about today? Um, actually, first, Manscapes back on the map. Y'all really They loved it so much. You loved it. It smelled so good. I rubbed it all over my body while I was talking to you, and I think that's what really got you hooked. And our... (laughs) I'm really grasping this microphone. Right she now. Like, is I'm really grasping it. Um, that code is still good, and it's not Christmas yet. So if you have more presents to get, go ahead, go to manscape.com, put in the code B H H. Any and all of the things that you can purchase, you will get a twenty percent off discount. And what else, Caroline? Free shipping anywhere in the whole universe. Yep, even Quebec. M- Marshall um, Apple Applewhite. What? Not you. Oh. Because that's oh, out of the, the universe. Yeah, he's on the UFO. Who I Anybody saw him else? that one day. <laughs> Anybody else? Free shipping. All the things. The lawnmower. The uh, the weed whacker. Weed the whacker. ball cream and the ball deodorant. All the ton- And the underwear and yeah. the toner. Yeah. And, I mean, you can use it on the the performance package, the code. You can use the code on yeah. individual things. Hey, um, take care of your so, man. And your man. And yourself. Or if you're like me and you just went broke because your dog got sick, oh. then you ain't buying nobody no Christmas presents. Y'all, I thought Bloody Happy Hour was going to have to cancel we, we, indefinitely. <laughs> we almost Poor had Parker to cancel. is in the ER. Parker's my little puppy. He's, he's a little a Yorkie. Mint. He's four and a half pounds, and he got gastric bypass. Wait. <laughs> Wait, not gastric bypass. What's it called? Pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. I was thinking. I was like, dogs have pancreases? I don't know, but they're like, he ate fatty food. And I was like, I don't even no. have any food in my house. So I must have been, he just probably had too many treats. Maybe too many treats. But I just you think know, dog ha- food is shit. Like, it's going to kill I know. The dog. I'm going to have to start doing what you do and cook rice and chicken. But, you know, he had been getting fat shamed recently. Oh. Who's so, been shaming him? You? Um, No. That would be Casey. Oh. <laughs> and her husband. You know. She's, yeah. That's oh. rude. But anyways, he's. Is he's on the mend? He's on the mend. Y'all, if you want Bloody Happy Hour to continue, please say a special prayer for Parker. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can always Venmo us. <laughs> So she could drink away her. She she's so worried. <sighs> she, you can buy us a round, and we'll toast to Parker's recovery. Yes, she I was did. like, "Do you want to come spend the night?" <laughs> this bitch was like, "I don't know how to stay up. How late do you usually stay up?" I couldn't. I usually go to bed like by nine, and I had to. St- I stayed up till two last night. Yeah. I actually fell asleep before you. She was like, "Don't you want to come and keep me spend the night I and just keep me company?" Wanted somebody else to. Clean smell. Up his, smell his poop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big dog person. But let's talk about, we got a couple of updates, and then I got um, some stories. So, we're Quentin Simons. Quentin Simons. His remains were found. Remember, that's the little boy in one of our Georgia. Cookies. Was it Georgia? Yeah. Land- landfill? Georgia Landfill? Landfill. I don't remember if it was Georgia. <sighs> Florida. One of them. Mississippi. His mom was real sketchy. Mom's name was Lilani. They were looking for his remains in the landfill, and they have finally found them and identified them. They obviously knew an act- the act- what actual dumpster he would have been dumped in, so they knew about where he was going to be dumped. So they had to sift through, I think it was like one two, 1. 1.2 million pounds of trash to find him, and they found him and identified him. And so mom is in jail. Um, but then also sketchy grandma got some charges, right? I saw that, but I didn't look in what look the at actual it. charges were. Right. Not like an accessory, but like lying or being shady. Is there a charge called being shady? I think there I is. think that's what I it think was. If there wasn't, she's charged there for being shady. 
Ch- Chatham County. I don't know where that is. Yeah. Well, it's okay. that's fine. We're over it. Um, but is there anything else with that? Dad is innocent. Yeah, like I guess. he was excluded. Yep. At yep. the beginning. Um, anything for Ohio? Uh, you Idaho. Keep- Idaho. 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 <laughs> Um, I do. Well, yes. So um, just last recently they had the vigil, which they were like, oh, you know, that killer is going to show up at the vigil. Yes. Yeah. And here's what's here's what's there's there's confusion in Idaho. It's okay. confusion. Is it confusion between Ohio and Idaho like me? Maybe. <laughs> but um, so one of these uh, news reporters interviewed with the prosecutor, the lead prosecutor and the lead prosecutor first said that they like that the residence was specifically targeted and there was somebody who was targeted so like very very beginning it was oh don't worry about like yeah everybody's fine and then they're like oh now maybe panic and then they're like we think it's targeted and then they're like it's not targeted and then this prosecutor comes out and says oh it was targeted and And then after that they said there was miscommunication with us and the prosecutor meeting, I guess, law enforcement and the pro- I don't know. Yeah. There's so many different people yeah. working on it that apparently they had this miscommunication and now they're not sure that anyone is specifically targeted. Oh. So it very well could happen again. So then this uh, former FBI lady that I follow on Twitter, she said that um, this is a serious backtrack. And it explains why they can't immediately identify a suspect, praying no serial killer. Mm, I did. I was watching maybe the Good Morning America. Because you know what? That, there was that, okay, so in September, somebody, like, was riding their bike and brandished it, like, showed a knife to some people who were riding by. There. There. Uh-huh. And this is all there. at this campus. That was considered, oh, not related. And then... There was um, these people found like a few miles down the road from where the murder happened, a squirrel like with its head chopped off or whatever. But the reason that even mattered was because then a few weeks before, like a mile down the road was when those they found that dog, Pam and Jim from the office. It's Pam and Jim. That's the name of the dog owners. It was this Uh, Australian shepherd, mini Australian shepherd. Mm -hmm. It had... um, the whole body was skin, like <gasps> except for the head and the tail. I think, like it was completely skinned. I wonder if there they were. <clears throat> and That's so then definitely that, a hunter. That was, and they were like, it. It was determined that it wasn't animal activity. And they were just like, we let him out to go to the bathroom, and then we went to get him when we couldn't find him, and somebody like had picked him up, skinned him, and then like put him back. So it's like, how close does is where was that dog to where they live? They said it was like I think within like a couple miles yeah. or a mile, like it wasn't far, and it wasn't, uh, it was pretty recent, within wow. weeks. Yeah. So and then they talked about the squirrel. So like, if you had somebody like decapitate a squirrel and then you have them skinning a dog and then you have so it's like maybe they're building up yeah i don't know i don't know i i'm hoping that they have a lot more and they're not but i don't mm. yeah well i did see on on good morning america youtube that they are talking to other counties looking for similar ish like of course we would know if there's been another mass killing like yeah. that right but could there have been something similar where maybe they are looking for certain patterns in a crime? So, in other words, could this be a work of a serial killer that has been going or that's about to... Like, right now, he's a mass killer. If he does it again, something similar, then that could put him in the category of a serial killer. So it, d- it sounds like they're bouncing all over the place. Yeah, and last and, and at the vigil, Kaylee, Kaylee's dad said, like he confirmed just by like in his little speech he gave, he said that uh, Madison and Kaylee were found dead in the same bed, bed together. Yeah, together. So that was new. They were that their was, bestest friends. Which I mean, it was sweet that you know they like. Grew up together, went to college, went to college together. together, and then died together. Oh my ugh. gosh! I mean, it's so. Ugh. Is there anything? 
Oh, 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 no. She got the Do die. I hyper <laughs> think you have gastric <laughs> bypass? <laughs> Do you have gastric <laughs> bypass? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, Go. Uh, De Janeiro, she has been arrested. She yes. gone to Mexico. Is she in Mexico? Yeah. Okay. Yes, she's been arrested by Mexican authorities. F- According to the lead attorney. Okay. That's what he then told me. Wow. Dejeuner, Redejeuner, Dejean. You better start talking, Dejeuner. Um, Because winter, I think you're next. (laughs) Winter next. Um, And then the Delphi, they had, they released that probable probable cause affidavit thing that basically said why they arrested him, which was that there was like a bullet (coughs) that was found in between the two victims and that it's marks on the bullet matched a certain gun and they had actually previously talked to Richard Allen and cause he had admitted being on the bridge at that time. <clears throat> and like whatever he was wearing kind of matched what they were looking for somebody to be wearing. And oh, he so said he, he had a gun. Forward. Well, cause I, yeah, yes. Good. I was, I was this wondering was, this, this was whole the time. very beginning at the very, very beginning. But did we know this, that they talked to him? Well, no, because it was just like people who they were interviewing or talking oh. to. And then he had said, I guess before they even gave him information that there was a bullet found, they maybe asked him about a certain type of gun, and apparently this certain type of gun that he used, that bullet came from that specific gun, uh-huh. and he said he's never let anybody borrow that gun, and he never he's the only one that's ever used that gun. Uh-huh. And so that's kind of what they went on, but I've been hearing through the grapevine that that's really not strong evidence and that's very easy to fight against and then i found out just a while ago that um in 2017 there was a clerical error and the error was a misfiling by a civilian employee with the fbi and basically, they like misfiled what something something of his information. And that's how it got left out. And it got left out, and because then they're saying this could have, like, oh, a long time ago. Yes. Oh. And they're saying in 2017 something was filed in the wrong file. So they could have followed up on this a long time ago. Yeah. So they could have had this, this information. I I this is just yeah yeah. Wow, that hurts. <sighs> that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. And now a word from our sponsors. Welcome to One Star Rewind a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. Zach and I'm Mike and we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about bros foes and heroes it's the two of us looking into the world of comics breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of and some that are just absolutely ridiculous yeah so Zach comes up with a character each time and uh, I go into it just completely blind I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to 
highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and bros and heroes gonna tell you about bros and bros and heroes. Gonna tell you about. 911, what's your emergency? Do you hear that? It's coming from the house. It's coming from inside the house? Uh, do you mean, could it be? The Alter House. New from Rogue Media, two haunted hotties talking about haunted places. Every episode, we dive deep into the darkest places and give you a bit of history. We're getting spooky in all the right places. You've gobbled your last ghoul. Follow along for the craziest and spookiest stories with Debbie's Dark Tourism. The Stanley Hotel, Winchester House, The Alamo, Hotel Monte Vista, and more spooky places. Find us at the underscore Poltergals. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-A-L-S. Look over your shoulder. It's us, the Poltergals. Wherever you consume the podcast, you can find us there. So let's go to... Virginia and California. Okay. And have I ever told you never trust anybody? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever, mm-hmm. were you a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan? And at some point his logo was DTA, don't trust anybody. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that includes people we're supposed to trust. Teachers, nurses, teachers are sketch, nurses are sketch, and cops are sketch. So let's talk about um, the shitbag cop named Austin Edwards. Okay. He was employed by the sheriff's office in Virginia County. This mofo drove 2,200 miles, 2,200 miles to meet a girl he met online. He's got the smashed face. He's not cute at all. Yeah. To, To meet a girl that he met online in Riverside, California, 2,200 miles to meet a girl that he met online, okay? Wow. Instead of when he pulled up at um, in the neighborhood, he didn't park at her house. He parked at the neighbor's house. And this is the family of the Wynick is who he was going to visit. Mm-hmm. Did I mention this girl was a teenage girl? I don't think so. So young and teenage that her name was not printed because she's a minor. This is the Wynick family home. <clears throat> and all we know is the police got two 911 calls at the time. One was for a house fire, and one was a neighbor saw a young teen girl in distress while being forced to get in a car with an older man. Okay? This car was a Kia Soul. Is Red that flag. What I, is that what I was driving about? Is my rent car? No. <laughs> for no choice? For, with no choice of my own? No. <laughs> no. First of all, grown ass man driving a Kia Soul is a red flag. I don't know what a Kia Soul is, but no. Nobody needs to know. So, and then the house was on fire, right? So, police show up, firefighters show up, the house is on fire. They find three bodies right when you walk in, like in the entryway. This is Cherie Wynick, 65 years old, Mark Wynick, 69 years old, and their daughter, Brooke Wynick, 38 years old. This is the mother and the grandparents of the teen that he well, this is, like is the going story to visit. You did. But I mean, not really. But it's like grandma, grandpa, and kid. Yeah. What story was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. And yeah. So, um, so this is their. This is grandma and grandpa, and then it's their daughter, and the their daughter is the mom of the teen who this cop is going to go see, okay? So they were all victims of homicide, and they didn't, I couldn't find how they were killed. I'm going to assume because he was a cop shot. Um, And then he set the house on fire, right? So 
they find out the type of car that he's driving and the police find him and he leads them on a chase, right? While he is, it's like a movie, while he is driving, fleeing the police, he's also shooting at them and at the SWAT. What? What's this guy's name? Austin Edwards. He's so ugly. (laughs) Okay. He lost control of his shitty Kia, (laughs) went off the road, and when he got out, it was like off, um, La- Queen Latifah yes! offset it off. And, and he horrible. Yes. I thought he had a smash to the face. But um, oh, he looked like Queen Latifah on set. No, it was like Queen Latifah offset it off where she got out the car and she points the guns at the cops and at the helicopters. So it's, she ba- he basically suicide by cop because he knew when he was pointing the gun at them that they would shoot him. So they shot him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. No cops were injured, and the teen victim was rescued and placed in protective custody. They met online because he was catfishing her. Oh, what she a shot. She probably thought she was talking to a young, like beautiful little boy, high school maybe boy, um, and whether she told him her address or whether, because he's a cop, he looked it up. Either way, she did not engage these conversations thinking any like anything like this would ever happen, right? She is now in custody in the custody of Department of Social Services because her fam- like her family is gone. <gasps> oh. That I mean, gosh. three people lost their life, right? But did this, this guy die? Did you say? Yeah. He was shot he, after yeah. the chase. He Queen Latifah it from set it off yeah. and then got killed by the cops. She even have teeth. This little kid, little girl, has to live the rest of her life knowing that she was catfished and her parent, her grandma, grandpa, and her mom are now dead as a result of it. Hopefully. I mean, that's a far way. It's like. He drove 2,200 miles. I know. And so I'm like, how far is that? If you're, But if you're going from Virginia, that's uh-huh. on the east. Uh, the, on the other side the of the country. West. That's like Brian Laundry driving across. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so, and then my thing is, like, a police department let him be a part of their department. He was a sheriff deputy. What, do you, what does even that mean? What does that even mean? A, sh- I don't, a sheriff def- deputy, I think, is usually, like, in rural counties. Well, in my story that I'm telling on Thursday, these people, some of these people wanted to become a, a deputy, deputies, and they didn't have to do that much work. Oh, yeah. So I don't know what's a sheriff, deputy, or a deputy. Is it like a know. certain office? I don't know. Maybe I don't, we need to ask that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You should have researched it if it's part of your story, and you could tell me. Did know. Are Did, these, wasn't these, trying to. Is that what Three Star was talking about? Basic little facts? We don't know because we're always like, No, it's what talking is about this? because I interrupted you, which I just did a while ago. <laughs> okay. So, listen, we can't do it all, y'all. I mean, so we're there's that story. facts at you right now with all these stories, so you're welcome. That story caught my eye. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I saw it. I, I saw it a lot. Another story that caught my eye is this local story here in Texas, in Houston. A uh, oh. guy named Delano Bro- Burks. He's a former um, football player. A&M, wasn't it? Yep. A&M yep. football yep. player. He, unlike Austin Lee Edwards, is beautiful. He was a real estate investor. He was married to a girl named Autumn, I believe her name was. Um, and he was just hanging out in Houston Heights at bar hopping, right? Mm-hmm. He was last seen when he was escorted out of McIntyre's bar. So H-Town people, you probably know what this is. McIntyre's bar, obviously inebriated. Yeah. Um, and then I read some of the comments that he accidentally um, walked into the women's bathroom, whether he was drunk or whether he didn't pay attention. And, I, and supposedly that's why he was escorted out. His friends um, left him that night. It's going to bring up some Shanquilla Robinson vibes. Left him that night in his car. So they were driving 
Delano's car, maybe because he was drunk, but they left him. And he was not seen, and he went missing for 13 days. Family was handing mm-hmm. out flyers. Mm-hmm. Questions everywhere was all over the news. He was finally found a couple days ago in the port of Houston by tugboat workers in the water. He was obviously dead. Um, but... They have not suspected foul play yet, but there has not been an autopsy. EquiSearch, Tim Miller with EquiSearch aided in the search and was the party like who found him. But he had been like spotted a couple of times on like camera. looking. I I saw the camera one, but they even saw <laughs> Did you see that? I even saw one before that um just talking about how he was yeah spotted looking um just kind of off, not off but mm, not delusional i don't know what the word yeah. is but he was just like walking crazy kind of like in that video family thinks that he might have been drugged because the video that he was walking mom says she, it looks like he doesn't he have fully control of his, of his legs. legs so they don't know if he was drugged or if he was that drunk there, we just don't know much at all. But was that video from that night? That was that night, yeah. After that night and after that video, that video was later on that night. Now, I also saw that that Friends, I'm going to put Friends in air quotes. Yeah. Because Friends said that he needed to pee. He went into McIntyre's to pee, got kicked out, went somewhere else to pee, and he never came back. So they just left. Left him in his car knowing he was that They drove drunk. his car. And left him. Left him. And then he was missing for 13 days. Listen, let me tell you what a friend is. My bachelorette party, I was drunk. And it was like 0 o'clock. We hadn't even got to do anything, right? My friends, shout out to Crystal, helped me to the bathroom, wiped my vajayjay for me, pulled my pants back up, and laid me in the bed. I was like, oh, Crystal, you didn't have to wipe off a JJ. It's probably, I could have shook or something. Yeah. She was like, you couldn't have shook. No. <laughs> Let me tell you what Listen, a friend is. That's okay. a good friend. Let me tell you what a friend isn't. When you're going to somebody's wedding shower and they're your sister, and you, sorry if you're the one getting married and I'm the one who decided that I was going to get way too drunk and hugging the toilet, I had to get into the bathtub with no clothes on and just have an inch of water. And I'm like, come help, come help. And they walk in and she, I was like, I need help. And she's like, bitch, no. And goes out and goes to the other room and leaves me all alone. Who shower is it? Who shower is it? Your shower or her shower? No, it was Alex's wedding. Uh huh. It was her, the day before her wedding. Uh huh. And you got drunk. Tequila. <laughs> and a little bit of, a little bit of a, what do you call it? A dab pin. Dab pin. Weed pin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, but that's that's what a friend does. A friend would help me in the situation. Uh, cause but a sister does not because they're, they're no, like No, but done. a sister, they ain't your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Alex's wedding. She should have appointed somebody else to come and help you out. It was okay, her day. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, those are friends. Thank you, Crystal. Shanquilla. Your friends were not friends. Yeah, your friends who beat Delano, the crap your friends. Out of you whenever you're naked and afraid. No. No. Mm-mm. So those are just two stories that hit uh, me. You know. By the way, we are drinking some we're brown bagging it today, so if you hear that, it's because we're real classy. Yeah. Um, and we got some corona f- refrescas that um none of you bought, so Thanks for nothing. Yeah, thanks. We're just over here drinking real classy. Real classy. Real broke. San Diego. <laughs> um, but we love you. Keep listening. Keep listening. Go rate, review, and subscribe. Yeah, rate, good rates and good reviews. We will see y'all next week for a, or in a minute, in a couple days, for a full episode. <laughs> Go ready. to our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Yep. If you need to email us a story. Um, the story that came out last week, the Jessica story, was recommended by a listener. So we love those recommendations. Mm. Email us one of your favorite stories. 
Um, don't forget to stay aware, stay alive, and always be DTF. Bye, y'all. Bye. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about, Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially golden age stuff oh golden age stuff is always the best and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness of everything that's right so subscribe today and uh, follow us on instagram at bros bros heroes and if you don't i know where you live not really but please subscribe (laughs) bros and bros and heroes Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story.